Hi guys, it's Cody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be part 2 of my Guide to Masquerade series. In my last video I showed you guys how to pick a character for Masquerade and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a guide to how to make your cosplay for Masquerade. Now obviously I am not going to be able to give you guys a detailed guide to making masquerade costumes because let's be honest, masquerade costumes run the gamut in a variety of techniques. Instead, I'm going to give you guys a general overview of how you can approach your costume as well as what to look out for when crafting. So with that being said, let's get started. So first of all, when it comes to gathering your materials, I would make a budget sheet and pace your spending. Remember how I said in my last video to get started early? This is another reason why I said to get started early. Not only are you going to need time to put your costume together, you'll need time to pace out all of your spending so that way you don't just have to drop $500 on materials in one go. If you guys want some more tips on how to do budgeting, I have another video on how to do cosplay budgeting and I will link it up in a card. So once you've got at least some of your materials, my next tip is to work on something every day. Now I understand that you guys may have school, you may have work, maybe you have kids or pets, or maybe you have all of the above. In that case, first of all, how the hell are you doing it? But more importantly, you can adjust how much you work on something every day based on what's going on in your personal life. So if you're, say, on vacation, I would suggest putting in more hours towards making your costume. But maybe you have exam week or work is just really tiring you out. Maybe just go down to like maybe 15 minutes a day, you know, just maybe sew a couple buttons, maybe draw a few patterns. And I know maybe you'll feel down on yourself that you can only work on a small things during these busy times, but don't worry. Every little thing you do will count in the end. In addition, while you're working on your cosplay, I would take a lot of progress pictures. You don't need fancy schmancy pictures for progress pictures. Just whatever you can use with your phone works perfectly fine. Just make sure that they're well focused and you can clearly see what's going on. Documenting your cosplay is a really good idea because it will show proof to the judges that you are the person who created the costume. And in some cases, some conventions will require you to bring a build book. I'll do another video on that because build books deserve its own little thing. Now my next tip is towards groups. I would keep a group chat going on whatever form you like to use. It's Facebook chat, Instagram DMs, Discord, whatever you choose to do. Just have some kind of group chat to keep each other in check with everything going on. You know, show your guys' progress cheer each other up, just anything like that just to make sure you keep communicating with each other. In addition, I would suggest hosting a crafting party at one of your houses, you know, bring whatever you want to work on and as well as some nice food just to have a good time and get some progress done. If you can't do it in person, I would still try to host one on Zoom or any or whatever video chat feature you want to use. I would also set some kind of deadlines just to keep each other in check and especially if you guys have to do things where you know one person is making items for multiple people and they need to have some kind of fitting. And while I haven't gone over you know the masquerade paperwork stuff, I would designate at least one person to be in charge of that such as turning in any progress pictures, your music, your videos, anything like that that the masquerade requires of, of all of its contestants. And this is my final tip. No matter what you choose to make, make your construction clean. This is what judges are going to be looking for more than anything else that you can possibly think of. If you're doing a complicated wig, make sure that it can hold its shape and that everything has been brushed away to perfection. If you're doing armors and props, make sure that everything is nice and secure on your body, nothing is falling apart, and your paint isn't chipping. And if you're sewing, make sure that the costume fits the way it's supposed to be fit and iron everything. You do not want to show up with a wrinkly costume. All right guys, so these are all of my tips on masquerade construction. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to leave any more of your tips, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Um, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more cosplay content from me. Or if you want to see me dance, please check out my dance channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye bye